In this video, I'll help you edit your WordPress code so you can modify how your site looks or functions. First, we'll discuss the different types of code in your site and their functions. Then I'll show you how to edit different types of code to make the changes that you need. Now, before we dive into this, there's three things that you should know. Firstly, you should use a plugin if you want to make minor changes quickly, like changing the colors of a page or the layout of a post. When you need to make more complex and intricate changes over a longer period of time, you can directly edit your code for more control. I'll show you how in the next chapter. Secondly, please back up your site because even a small typo while editing code can lead to scary errors and complicated issues. Check the video above where we compare the best backup plugins in the market. You can also check out our plugin blog world which has helped over a million sites and has many awesome features. Lastly, you need to use a child theme, otherwise updating your site will wipe out any code customizations in it. Let me explain. A child theme is basically a copy of your parent theme, which is the main theme that you're currently using. So when you make code changes on your child theme, it shows up on your site, but these customizations are kept separate from your parent site. This means that you can safely update your main theme without any hassle and still retain the code changes that you've made. I'll link a video above to help you create a child theme. Now, let's discuss what is HTML, CSS, PHP and JavaScript in WordPress. First, let's get a quick and easy understanding of what these four types of code do on your site. Here's an average looking web page. Here's what each bit is made of. HTML is the overall skeleton of your site. The text you see, blog posts, pictures, how everything is roughly laid out is HTML. But what do they look like? What color do you use? What border do you use? Which font? All of that aesthetic stuff is controlled by CSS. So say you wanted to change the color of the text or change the border around a picture. You can do that with CSS. Now, if you want to add some movement like say a button highlight or a cool animation that plays on the site, you need JavaScript. JavaScript is what controls all the dynamic elements of a site, like clicking your cursor over a link and it turns blue or a counter, you know, stuff like that. All of this is cool, but what about functionality? How does your site work? All of this data is what PHP is responsible for. PHP is the manager of these three. So let's say I go click on this tab. When you see a drop down and I click on it, a new page opens up. That is PHP working in the background with all of these elements to do so. Now let's discuss how to edit HTML, CSS, PHP and JavaScript in WordPress. I'll give you a quick overview of what each type of code does and how to modify it. If you want to make changes to a part of your post or page, like how the date looks, you can do it by clicking on the options for an individual block and choose the edit as HTML option and modify that code. You can get HTML snippets from sites like these to make the changes that you want. If you want to make changes to the overall structure of the page, you can edit the overall HTML by accessing the code editor from the main tools and options drop down. When you're done, you can save changes. Let's now discuss editing site aesthetics using CSS. You can do this in two ways, using a plugin or using a WordPress customizer. There's pros and cons to each, so let's discuss them. It's easier to make minor changes using a plugin for two reasons. Firstly, you don't need to worry about manually entering code and breaking your site because you can just add snippets from sites like these in the designated area to make your changes. Secondly, you don't need to make the effort of creating a child theme because the changes that you make will get saved via the plugin and then you can safely update your site. So overall, making changes via a plugin is easier and more convenient than directly editing code. The most popular CSS editor plugin is Simple Custom CSS and JS. It's easy to use and has a minimal interface. You can paste your code snippet and click on the button labeled update file to save it. Next, let's discuss editing CSS using the WordPress customizer. This method gives us more control for more intricate changes. To access it, navigate to appearance, then click on customize from your WordPress dashboard. Next, click on additional CSS at the bottom. A code editor will open where you can add custom CSS snippets for whatever change you want to make. When you're done, click on the publish button to save your changes. Now, let's discuss how to edit dynamic elements with JavaScript. As we discussed earlier, JavaScript helps you add dynamic and interactive elements like a Twitter feed, background effects, or a music player. For simple changes, you can find JavaScript snippets from sites like these, and you can use a plugin like Simple Custom CSS and JS. For more complex changes, you can add JavaScript snippets using the theme editor. Here's how to access it. Click on the appearance button near the bottom left, then click on theme editor. In this editing area, you can add any JavaScript snippets to get the desired changes that you want. You can use a sidebar on the right to navigate between different theme files and the code editor itself to make your actual edits. Next, let's discuss modifying your site functionality using PHP code. If the changes you want to make to the PHP code are small, like changing what your footer does, you can just use a snippet from sites like these along with the code snippets plugin. If you want to make more complicated changes like automating page 
page creation, you can simply use the theme file editor like I showed in the previous JavaScript section. I have one last helpful tip for you. How will you restore your site if you can't access your WP admin? Watch this video to find out. Hit that like button if this video helped you. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week. Thank you.